Last Christmas, I and my nine-year-old collaborator decided to spruce up our housemates' lives with a little new artwork. Joke artwork. Because that's how we make people's seasons merry and bright around here. Well, neither of us are exactly awesome painters. Though, I went to design school for a year. That's why we thought of doing a custom paint by numbers. No skill involved, right? A paint by numbers is easy enough for a grade schooler, and also someone with the painting abilities of a grade schooler. We wanted something funny or hokey or tacky or just strange. Something like Christmas cherubs singing, or Hawaiian Santa in shorts and a lay, or of course, big-eyed kittens in a basket. Kissing bunnies under the mistletoe? Something to make people laugh. So, we did an image search for funny Christmas photos online. Here were the final contenders. It was a tough battle, but we were both drawn to what I call December 26th, the Santa with a beer bottle. Let's compare the photo to the final painted result. This canvas is 11 by 17, so think two sizes up from a regular sheet of paper. Here's the digital version, which is the original picture digitally processed so that the number of colors are reduced. It has bolder colors, and the areas are bigger shapes to fill in because we have to paint this. As you can see, I took a lot of, let's call it, artistic license. Really, the word should be mistakes. Even when I traced the line art onto the canvas as carefully as I could, things kind of changed. And during the painting process itself, things really changed. My collaborator had never done any painting that required coloring in the lines, so to speak, so he reshaped a lot of the areas as he painted them in. That happened a lot with me, too. But that's all right. It's what makes the art unique. We were really happy with the results and learned a lot about how to do this yourself. When we started this project, we looked online for instructions, because that's what you do, right? Unfortunately, we couldn't find anybody who had really done an actual painted canvas starting from a photo. That's why we're making this series of videos. Now, the next video is going to have a really quick step-by-step -step overview of what we did for the Santa painting, but don't take that as the tutorial. We have learned a ton, and in the real video series, we're going to start from the very beginning, sourcing a photo, and I'm going to show you every step in detail so that you can truly do this at home. Thank you.